PMA represents the metal forming industry. Currently we have about 850 member companies, including metal stamping, fabricating, roll forming, metal spinning, slide forming, and tool and die on the manufacturing side. And then we also have suppliers to the industry of materials, equipment, and services used by the metal forming industry every day. Together, the manufacturing members and the associate members make a great partnership to tell the story of our industry, to network with each other, to work together to provide the best possible solutions that people can bring to common problems. That's the strength of PMA. It's companies working together to solve those problems that they all face every day. PMA's mission is to shape the environment of the metal forming industry and lead innovative member companies towards superior competitiveness and profitability. We have four major areas that PMA works in to meet that mission. The first is networking, to build business relationships among our member companies to help them grow their business, get more sophisticated, operate more efficiently at all levels from the CEO uh, down through the ranks of the company. Um, I'm involved in uh, what we call a round table and it's other people that uh, run businesses similar to mine and that's been great because we can either email each other or pick up the phone when we're not actually meeting face to face and say hey I have this problem can you help me or have you been there done this before. I look at um, the information that we get from all the different companies and their networking and the information that comes out, it's almost like an early warning system. Like we're gonna hear like what new programs uh, are being put out by the automotive industry or you know if you're in other industries, you're gonna hear that from other members that have seen it first. And then you get to hear uh, you know, what are the positives and negatives? Uh, are there issues with it? And I think we get a head start on learning how do we address those issues of something new that's coming down. And I think we're ahead of the game from people that don't have that support that PMA offers. PMA's districts help members reach out locally to build business relationships, both for the manufacturing members and also for the associate members who are suppliers of materials, equipment, and services to the metal forming industry. Networking has always been a big part of the PMA for us in Chicago. Uh, we have really gained some great personal relationships and professional relationships within our district. One of the four core areas of PMA service to members in the area of information services, our industry statistics programs are at the center of that. For more than 20 years, we've gathered data on a confidential basis on orders, shipments, productivity, profitability, and technologies that are used by our member companies. We help develop the skill standards and credentialing systems for the industry through NIMS, the National Institute for Metalworking Skills, that are in wide use today. But the foundation also raised substantial funds to build an endowment to support grants to the industry and to the association to provide training materials for metal forming companies. You know, we all have aging uh, workforce and a lot of the companies now, uh, we went through some tough times and we're in a growth mode and, you know, hopefully we're going to maintain that. But how do we fill those needs, the, the personnel, the employment needs as we go forward? And I think that's going to be our, one of our biggest challenges to bring PMA up to the next level. How do we get the right people, get the right people trained, and get them utilized in our businesses? That's going to be a key factor in PMA going forward, which really is there to serve our businesses. If you look at the three benchmark basic things that the PMA is all about, uh, training and education, networking, and of course advocacy. In each one of those areas, the PMA is helping uh, managers develop, people develop uh, in, in the metal forming industry. Being able to share experiences with other emerging leaders in the industry and in their companies has been uh, uh, very helpful. 
Historically, one of the core aspects of PMA is our advocacy program. The metal forming industry is absolutely key to manufacturing in the U.S. and in North America. And every day there are new regulations, the threat of new legislation that impacts our industry in a negative way. So for more than 35 years, PMA has been engaged in Washington, D.C. If you're not at the table, you're going to be on the menu. So it's very important for PMA members to be at the table, talking to members of Congress. You know, when, when PMA members come to Washington, we don't expect them to be tax experts. We don't expect them to be health care experts. We need them to tell their personal story. How do the actions of their member of Congress impact them personally? You can take a look at the companies that are involved in this association, and they are the very best of the metal farming companies in this country. PMA is actually part of our culture, I would say. It's always been there. Um, we just know that it's a resource for us. We've constantly, um, we, we pride ourselves on being part of PMA. It's on our letterhead, it's on our business cards. This is something that, you know, it's important to us because we've, we've had it as a valuable resource. We've been able to maintain our competitiveness through constantly improving our capability and largely as a result from networking and seeing what other companies are doing, uh, comparing ourselves to co other companies in a healthy, uh, competitive way, uh, taking advantages of the many uh, seminars and training opportunities and really taking all those experiences and cumulatively helping our company with it. We get several Transmatic employees involved with the PMA, not just the president or the CEO. And that just multiplies the benefits of the PMA 